So can you get rich running a Invoxia tracker, collecting a lot of data credits with your Helium hotspot or with the VLink or other Internet of Things devices? What up guys, my long six here, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to understand data credits and the package information that you're sending through your hotspot. So here's an example. The circle one here is the transferred packets. As you can see, I transferred one packet at 2DC. So we can see 2DC and one packet. We can go ahead and actually convert that to US dollars and know how much HNT we got at that time. So let's go here and you can see that one data credit is worth less than one cent. And I got two data credits, which means I got less than two cents. So uh, let's go ahead and see what a data credit actually is. So data credits are actually pegged to the US dollar, not HNT. So basically this utility token derives from HNT and is a burn transaction and used to pay for all transaction fees on the Helium network. One data credit will always cost less than one cent or one dollar will always buy you 100K data credits. But as stated above, data credits are produced by burning H&T, and the market price of H&T will, of course, fluctuate. This helium token to data credit relationship is based on a design commonly called a burn and minted equilibrium, and is intended to allow for the supply of H&T to respond to the network usage trends such that when equilibrium is found, the amount of H&T that exists remains static month on month the amount of data credits produced by burning h and t will move up and down based on usd price of h and d as reported by the h and t oracle not coin market cap and not coin gecko by its own oracle let's look at a few examples on how this will work on the chain so example number one as always the price of dc is always less than one cent one one hundred thousand of a cent the current H&T Oracle price is one dollar of course that always fluctuates as they said here burning one H&T in this case would produce 100k data credits example number two a helium network user requires 50k data credits per month to send a data for their fleet of helium connected mouse traps like the v-link if you have not seen my v-link video yet subscribe and hit that bell because i don't know if it's already come out or if it's going to come out because i'm recording it near the same time all right yes this actually exists they are glorious yes the mouse traps we'll, we'll talk about it in another video to acquire these 500k data credits per month, they would burn 0.5, a half of the helium token using the following map. Boom. All right, so let's go ahead and jump to a different article. So let's just talk about this here. This is from the perspective of the hotspot. So a miner receives a packet and determine who it belongs to. So they receives the packet as you saw here. The miner dials in the appropriate Helium LoRaWAN network server and offers the package. The Helium LoRaWAN network server expresses interest in the packet and accepts the delivery. The miner provides the package under the promise that the LongFi network server will burn a DC in the name of the miner. So basically what this is saying with this LongFi GPS tracker is that Invoxia pays for a subscription except for it's not a subscription because there's no annual fee. Instead they use the pay as you go method. So for my Invoxia here it actually says that I get three years for unlimited pings for free. After that I'll have to pay a subscription or just sign up for another three years or something like that i'm not sure how it works so we'll see in three years let me know subscribe hit that bell and three years later maybe i'll make another video <laughs> the tracker is able to determine its location on its own using a combination of gps wi-fi positioning and bluetooth the tracker then uses the helium network and the hotspots to relay this data to the inboxia servers which then provides this location data to you via the companion app. By the nature of the Helium network, the hotspots have no knowledge of what device is transmitting data or what data is being transferred over the network. And in return, Invoxia will burn a DC for your miner. 
and the network data transfer is only up to 35% of all the HD types. So the question remains, will I get rich by running these? No, you're not going to get rich if you buy 25 of these or you get 25 of these for free and then turn them all in the highest ping possible and then just leaving them plugged in your wall so the battery never dies. No, you will not get rich off of this because one DC is not worth a lot and to ping the location of one of these in particular is not very expensive so as you saw in that example well anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you learned something about data credits and the package information that you're transferring through your hotspot and as always guys stay safe stay active stay healthy god bless peace Hope you found it helpful, and as always, guys, well, let's see, what is this video about? Well, uh...